What is up, you guys? It's your host with the most, West Coast Collector, coming at you with a brand new video. This is now unboxing. This is a request video. Bye. Let me get my phone here. By War. Says War Comedy did a do it collection vid, bro. I got you. Even though your YouTube channel is deactivated for some reason, but uh, I was able to search through his uh, my YouTube, find it, got it. Uh, shout out to you. Uh, continue. Put this on. The so he wanted to. He wanted me to do a, a Echo Unlimited uh, shirt collection, which I have grown. I've been collecting Echo for quite a while since I was a kid. I always had Echo. I fell in love with it as a kid. The Rhino logo. I remember I had these shoes, and the shoes they advertised it saying, "Run, run fast and strong." Uh, I can't recall what it was, but it was, it was uh, advertising for a shoe. Got the shoe. Felt like I was the fastest thing ever. Uh, ever since, it stuck. So you know, as I grew up, I. I didn't really do graffiti or that much. Actually, in middle school is when I first started to do more graffiti. But it wasn't because of the shirts. It was because this uh, new kid came in from class. He came from Oakland. And I remember in class, he, he was he was drawing and he was doing graffiti. And, you know, all the girls would come up and, you know, like, oh, wow, how'd you do that? And how'd you do this? You know? I was already drawing during that time, but it was more like uh, cars, kind of like realistic stuff, you know, vehicles. I was drawing a lot of vehicles, like lowriders and uh, JDM cars. I was doing all that. I wasn't really doing graffiti during the time. So me trying to get the attention, being the you know the artist of the class, I was like, I'm going to learn and how to do that, you know, get that going. So that's what I did. I got, I got paper. I started to draw. Got the hang of it, and so later I surpassed the guy, and then, you know, it, it's been a blessing ever since. Uh, let's get started with the first shirt. These are not in particular order, any way or so. First shirt is this Echo Limited. Uh, I don't know what kind of design this is. So they're boxed, different designs. Love it. It's 2XL, my size. But, yeah, it's a badass shirt. So, love this one. Got that one off eBay. Cup. Not that long ago. Like, no, I think it was like last year. Yeah, last year I got that for fairly cheap. I think I got that for 11 bucks. Next, this is amazing uh, button shirt. Has this amazing design at the black book right there love this when I'm going out somewhere special you know trying to look nice and tidy this is it right here this is the back yeah man I love this shirt right here right here has to be hands down my favorite shirt probably wearing the most of all the shirts that I have in my collection, so got this one off eBay as well for I think it was 15. 15, the guy used it once, I guess, and it didn't fit him, or, or I don't know what the whole deal is, but it was something nice. Next is another burner up shirt, got this one off eBay as well for cheap 13 and 13, 14. I think it was 14. Also, button up shirt. This little Echo. Hell yeah. Love, love the tag too. Badass. The back is even better. Just love the design on this. This is the shirt I wear the second the most. Love the design. Got so the guy sold it to me had a 
missing a no, I had a hole, a small little tiny hole. Made you know, might as well might as well get it, you know. Great price, cheap, might as well. This this is uh, wasn't that great of a shape when I got it. It was cheap. It wasn't decent shape. Just love this. This is my uh, my shirt. I take to soccer. I do play a little soccer, even though my condition is big guy. Uh, I do play soccer. I love it. And this is the shirt I usually take. Bright orange. It's nice. You know, makes you stand out out of the crowd. You know, the whole crowd, people would be wearing white or black shirts, and you're just wearing that, and, like, you automatically pop out, you know? You'd be able to see you. Got that one off eBay for dirt cheap. I think it was eight bucks? Eight bucks? Something like that? Well, okay, this is another shirt recently bought. Made an unboxing video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. This is a uh, badass artwork. By Mark Echo. Just love the design on this, man. It's, it's everywhere, you know? Uh, this is one of the shirts I will not be wearing that often because I will preserve and want to make it last longer. The back is the same thing, so. Just a little quick of the back. This is 2XL as well, and this is thick, thick material, so it's going to last me longer than just the regular thin shirts. But yeah, man, just love, just love this shirt, man. I love all of them, but, you know, I have certain ones that I love even more. This one, I got off eBay not that long ago. Four months ago, I would have to say, somewhere around there. This is another Echo. Just love, just love the design on this. And uh, I got this brand new, spanking new, with tags and everything for uh, 15, no, 20 bucks actually, 20. And they still had the price tag of Macy's. Yeah, Macy's for like 35 bucks. So I'm glad I got this and for dirt cheap. The back just says Mark Echo and Graffiti. And this has that sticky texture, that plastic. Not really plastic, but rubber. There you go, rubber pla uh, rubber feel to it. So it's nice, you know? It's going to last longer. On to the next. Oh, come on. All right. One of my favorite shirts that I love to wear almost everywhere. Just love this, man. Just, just love this. This is classic. The classic T, you know? This one's a uh, 3XL. Now that I think about it. Wow. Okay. Fits me real loose, which I like. Here's the... I wonder if y'all can see that. I don't think you can, but it says Echo, the classic T. Love this. The back. Only thing on the back, it's all plain. That's the only logo it has on the back. Other than that, that's it. Thick too as well. So like the gray one is thick. It's not really thin like most shirts, which uh, lasts longer. Me being a big boy, big guy, kind of tends to dirty them more. Because of uh, sweat and all that, you know. This is another shirt I like to wear a lot. This is supposed to be a darker orange from all that wearing. I've uh, made all the orange kind of like vanish. This is the back. That's the original color supposed to be. It's like an orange, orange. I'm assuming from all that washing, this is one of my uh, first shirts I got off eBay when I figured out you can order shirts off eBay. Echo, because before that, 
I was going to J.C. Penny. J.C. Penny uh, has them now. Macy's used to have them back in the day. I remember going to Macy's, you know, having that whole section there. But now they're not there. And then uh, I figured, uh, recently, a couple years ago, is when I started to shop again at J.C. Penny because they had a whole section dedicated to Echo now. So you know, might as well. So then I went, kind of went, kind of went to uh, eBay and I saw some shirts for dirt cheap and you know why not get them who cares if they're used slow wash and they're good this is uh i got this at jc penny i thought i'd throw this in just a regular t-shirt i use this for like work outside in the garden cleaning a fish tank or, or just cleaning the car you know Stuff that can get dirty, or, or just for work, you know, something to take, just get that dirty up, you know, or go just to sleep in it, you know, comfortable wise. This is one of my favorite shirts. I love this. This is uh, Echo Baseball Tee. Recently uh, put out, not that long ago, uh, I got this at JC Penny for thirty something bucks. It's black and gray. I am trying to buy the red and white version, which is more harder to find. I did not find that one at JC Penny, sadly. I was able to find this one though. That's the side. The back's plain, you know, just typical jersey. But this is cool, man. This is cool for going out. Places that are fancy or nice for me. I am wearing this one. This is a uh, limited edition. So you can all see the back. This is limited edition on the the tag, so I don't know. Could not be limited edition, or it could be, but that's all it says. Not gonna take it off. Don't want to show my man titties up in this video. Don't want to make the, the girls go wild. It's another shirt for sleeping, uh, getting dirty outside, you know, same as the uh, shirt prior to the other one. Got this one at JC Penny a long time ago when I first started shopping again. For Echo. Oh, this design, I love this. Look at that. Look at that. I just love this shirt. Echo Limited. This is the Mark Echo. This is when he cut and screw, I think it was. Not 100% sure. There's a little. Echo logo in the back. The back is badass too. Only in the corner though. Sorry if you can't see well, man. I'm a amateur up in this YouTube community trying to trying to get subs. The more subs, the more cash. The more cash, the more for the collection, man. I thought it is. I could, I would make this a full time job, but the way things are going, I ain't that professional enough to have that quality. This shirt right here, though, red shirt right here, beast. This camouflage jersey, though, badass. It's one of those shirts I hardly wear because you know I'm trying to preserve it, make it last longer. It's the back. This is thick. Being that it is a jersey, this is 2XL by the way. This one fits kind of tight, not too tight. 
but the regular tees 2XL fit nice and freely. These the jerseys just fit a little bit, a little bit thinner, so they're kind of a little bit. You can't do much maneuvers, you know. Oh, it'll be like the Hulk where goodbye to that shirt. Okay, the recent unboxing of uh, the my latest video, my newest video to be exact. I unboxed this badass bright green shirt. If you haven't seen it, I highly suggest you go watch it. Got this one off eBay for dirt cheap. 14 bucks. Not eBay, Macari. My bad, Macari. The seller, he had three other, he had a G-Unit jersey, which I wanted really bad. The guy sold it separately. I was going to purchase that one and this one, but it was kind of too late. And he had a Rockerwear shirt, which I didn't really like. I love Rockerwear, but not the style of the clothes they have, brand. And uh, I was going to purchase both of them, but the guy beat me to it. So I was like, you know, might as well, you know, just give me this shirt. He's like, all right. He said 17. I told him 14. He was like, yeah, I'll take it. 14. And then the guy later sent me a message saying, well... Well, it cost me 14 bucks to ship it, so technically he didn't make any profit. Made me feel bad, but I don't know. I, I didn't see it coming, and and then I got the shirt basically for free because I just paid shipping. So you know, this is the back. Basically all plain in the back, except so for that small little part. On to the next, shall we? Another get dirty shirt for my household needs that can get dirty, you know? I don't know what showed you guys the echo part. Badass. Got this one at JC Penny as well. It was, uh, I believe, it was a special going on during that day. Two, get, uh, buy, no, buy one, get the one half off. I'm not sure I got off of JC Penny as well. I got this a long time ago. It's one of the first shirts I got. Still hanging on in there. Nice. On to the next. Okay. We off to the e-shirts. These are my bottom shirts. Shirts that uh, these are the shirts I wear when I wear a burn-up shirt. I put this under, and it's kind of like underneath shirt, you know. Give you that nice extension look. It's plain, the black. It's just regular Echo logo. Another one is playing back. Oh man, Echo, if you're listening, man, best brand in the world. Speaking of that, I have another shirt on its way on eBay that I bought for 12 bucks. Uh, I don't know if I can show you guys. I'll try. I'll see if I can find a way to show you what kind of shirt. Here's the white tee for the bottom. Oh yeah. Another shirt I wear a lot, a lot. And uh, it's holding up really, really well. Love, love this shirt, man. This is like my top. I don't my. This is like my top five up there. At least top three, to be exact. Just look at that, man. Love this. Love this right here. Badass, badass. This is hold up. This is a two XL. This is thick. Love. Just 
Look at that, man. Much better. That. That tag. You know that. I was drawing a blank for a second. I don't know why, but that tag though, that tag right there, amazing. Nobody's gonna see it, but still, the design, oh, superb. Just look at the Echo logo right here, man. Just love it, man. Me being an artist, graffiti artist, that caught my attention. It was super, and I got this cheap too. I won that on the bidding. It was on bed. Same time I had two shirts. I wanted two of his. This one more, more than the other. And then uh, the guy, at the last moment, he bid on the other one. So I lost the other one. But I got this one, which I am. I can bad, yeah. I got the best one. And I think I got it for, I got it for ten bucks. Ten bucks and free shipping. Seen a recent one on eBay. Same size, go for 27 used. That one was brand new when I got it. So, you know, I got lucky, you know? This is a newer, new shirt as well. I did an unboxing on this one. I did the first unboxing on this one, I believe. It was, no. It was a great one. I don't know. One or the other, but amazing, amazing design on this. Love this shirt because it's like a little mini tutorial on the shirt, and it's giving you, you know, like how video games have the the ghost hand, and it shows you like the motion and whatnot. Same thing's going on here. Badass. Can't wear this that often. I've only worn this once since I gotten it because of the plastic. I don't want to wash it because it might fall off or it might get destroyed. I got this used. It was in great condition. It had a few air bubbles when I got it, so I had to iron that out. With a few YouTube videos I was able to find explaining, you know? The back, though, the back is what. Camera's a little leaning towards down a bit, so I'm at the Fix that up. Let me fix this. There we go. A little bit better. <coughs> then one of the fall. And lastly, but not least, I got this shirt for dirt cheap. Used. Didn't think it was going to be that used. But it's used, used to the point where the design is chipping, which is not good. Design on this is like you can look at this shirt for days, man. You'll find something new. Love this, man. This design on here, it is thick as well, so you know it's not bad. It fits well. I'm just mad that it's chipping all over the design, you know? The back is just plain. One of the shirts I would like to find new or in better condition. This is the back. This is the back. It says the Collins don't run in the back so you can get that. So can get this going. Collins don't run. Don't know what that is, but it looks amazing. Just look at this. Just look at this uh, tag right here.
puts effort and work into all those tabs, man. Like, each one is different. Looks amazing. Just looks, I don't know, man. Some new experience every day. So That's it for my shirts. I have a few things Echo related to show you guys. But, uh, get this out the way. A few vests. Well, not, not vest. What the fuck am I saying? Uh, what do you call them? What do you call them? They're, they're jackets, but they're vest style jackets. It has a hoodie as well. This was a Christmas gift. Oh, excuse me. This is a, this was a Christmas gift from my family that know me. So, you know, echo, echo over everything for me. This is the other one. This is more like a purplish, grayish. I don't know what color it is, but it's fire. That's all I know. The back is plain. Logos right here. So yeah, man, I have three of those. Uh, the other one, see, it's in the dirty the washing machine. It's white. Same one as the black one with the gray, but it's white with gray. It's kind of like a camo -ish style. But uh, yeah, pants. These are a baggy fit pants. Love the the pocket, the front, the back. Love these. They're a bit too baggy, which I don't mind. Of course, that's the design back in the day, and and I still still like my clothes a little baggy, you know, none too tight. I'm really that type of guy that wears a. Uh, Skinny jeans and all that. And hey, me, me, I'm still stuck in the early 2000s. This is uh, a great pair of jeans, man. I love the design on this. They're like patches, you know? Screw cut and from like different pants and then screwed on. Uh, stitched on, actually, to be exact. These are baggy as well. Uh, yeah, don't wear these that often. Don't have much to match it with, but it does. Fine. The, it's the back. Heck, if you're watching, I come in. Great fan. Hire me. Nah, if I could, I would, but. I live in California. There are stores all the way up in New York. You need to open one close. You need to open. You need to open a store in Sacramento, man. So you can knock and hire me. My favorite pants are all these right here. These are the ones I wear at least once every week. You know, when I go out. These are patches. Love that design. The other one's blank, plain. Uh, the back has has it as well. The heat is coming soon from where I live. I live near Sacramento, so the heat is approaching us. Right now it's in the rainy days, but it is approaching us. I already have a few Echo pant, uh, shorts on my cart on eBay that we'll be getting and purchasing for that uh, summertime. And uh, hopefully more more shirts go go uh, up on eBay and or on Macari so I can snag and grab, you know, and make my collection go bigger. And uh, if I could... I would grab, I would start my own echo museum, museum or 
where they have like kind of what they're doing with Supreme now, you know, where people are buying their items and kind of putting them on display, that type of dealio. But with Echo, you know, see, I can find that shirt I'm gonna that I purchased. Let's find out. I'm also on the hunt for a G Unit jersey that is kind of like a dark purple and red. I don't know what color that would be. Let me see. Purchases. $12 plus shipping. That's not bad. There you go. Badass shirt, 12 bucks, free shipping. Can't really grab that good view, but uh, just stay in tune for that video. will be coming soon. The unboxing of this Echo shirt. Uh, looks good. From the pictures that you sent me, so 12 bucks for shipping. What can I say? Uh, so yeah, if y'all like this video, make sure you like, comment. I mean, like. And uh, if you like Echo, make sure you hit the like button. Yeah, I will be making more Echo unlimited unboxings, finds, and all that good stuff. If you like Echo, hit that like button and subscribe. Uh, don't worry, I'm still doing my diecast unboxings as well. I'm just taking a little break, trying to save money, so I'm kind of sticking to shirts for a while now. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next. Bam.